boys and girls, it's Miss Gilbert. I'm coming to you today to talk about some math. Now, we have been talking about subtraction now. Remember, subtraction is when we take things apart. So I'm gonna get your brains ready and we're gonna get ready to do some equations. Okay, so we're gonna start out and I'm gonna put some items on my little board right here, okay? All right, so let's pretend that there are four butterflies in the yard, okay? There are four butterflies in the yard. Some of the butterflies flew away. Hmm, do you see what's happening here? There was some and then some of them left. So I know that there's not as many now, are there? Okay, so let's do this. There are four butterflies in the yard. Two of the butterflies flew away. How many butterflies are left? Can you draw that or write that down in your notebook? Four butterflies and two of the butterflies flew away. Can you write that equation for me? All right, so let's do another one. What if I said there are three frogs at the pond? One frog jumped away. How many frogs are left at the pond? Three frogs are at the pond and one hopped away. How many are left? Can you write that equation in your notebook? Three minus one equals blank. Okay, I'm gonna do one more for you, okay? Um, there are, you ready for a big one? There are nine birds in a tree. Nine birds are in a tree. Some of the birds flew away. There are now only five birds in the tree. How many birds flew away? So this one's a little bit different, okay? So there's nine birds in a tree. Some of them flew away. There are still five birds in the tree. How many of those birds flew away? Can you figure that out in your notebook? Can you draw a picture? Maybe circle the ones that are still in the tree, the five birds that are in the tree, and then you can write how many you think flew away. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side. And so you should have three equations in your notebook now, okay? All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to play a really super fun game called bowling subtraction. Have you ever went bowling before? Do you know what happens when you go bowling? You take a ball and you roll it down to knock over some bowling pins. Well, since we can't really go bowling right now, we're gonna use some things around our house. Now, what I've done is I have these little bathroom cups these little Dixie cups that you uh, might have at your house, or if not, you can just find some little plastic cups around your house and you're gonna need 10 of those, okay? You're also gonna need a ball, just any kind of ball that you can find that is gonna be a good rolling ball for you, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to set up your game, okay? Are you ready to see it? Okay guys, so I have our game all set up and remember, you're gonna need some little cups and you're gonna need 10 of them. You put four of your cups on the back row, and then three, and then two, and then one. So they kind of look like a shape that we've been learning about, like a triangle. So you're gonna take your ball, and you're going to roll it towards your cups. Now I'm gonna put this back here so all of my cups wouldn't just fly off the table, okay? So I'm just gonna roll it to my cups. Okay, so then I'm gonna look and see how many of my cups fell down. It looks like that I have three cups that fell down. Do you remember how many I started with? I started with 10, so I'm gonna write my equation. So 10 minus three, because three cups fell over, equals how many cups are left? So we're gonna count the cups that are still standing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my equation looks like this. 10 minus three equals seven. Okay, so let's play another round. You ready? Okay, so let's, oops. 
let's see. I'm gonna just put all my cups back up. So remember we have four on the back, and then three, and then two, and then one, okay? So I'm gonna take my ball and I'm gonna roll them towards my cups. Whoa! Okay, it looks like I have one, two, three, four of them fell down. So I'm gonna write my equation. I started with 10. Minus four equals blank. How many cups are still standing up? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Okay, so what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna keep playing this activity and I want you to see if you can write me 10 equations playing bowling subtraction. Okay, so that's your challenge today is to see if you can write 10 equations. But let me give you one more um, challenge too, okay? Can you find 10 triangles somewhere in your house or outside? Okay, and we chose triangles because that's what our bowling activity looked like when we made it. All right guys, see you guys soon, bye.